what's up guys your girl nana here and i'm heading to the hospital right now so we can get this baby surprise i've been pregnant guys but i keep saying i'm going to sit down and film a video for you guys and before i know it i'm so tired the days became weeks the weeks became months and here we are so surprise i'm pregnant tada <laughs> And I'm actually going to have the baby today. So I'm heading to the hospital now. The contractions are not yet so strong, but I'm just going, you know, sit down and take my fluids and everything before it's time. So let's get this baby popping. So I really don't know if I can vlog throughout this experience. Like if the contractions become stronger, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but hella, let's try. <laughs> Oh my god. So I have my baby with me in the car. I'm going to be taking him to daycare where somebody can take care of him. Why my husband and I will go to the hospital. Ooh, the car is full, all kinds of stuff, the stroller, all kinds of things. I'm going to drop the baby with that at daycare. So let's go. Bubu say hi. Say hello mommy. Look at you. Wild goose. Go hit my camera with your car. Say hello mommy. Mm. Oh. Alright, so oh my god, we're living. Oh. What's up guys? It's me again and I just arrived at the hospital and this is the examination room. Now they're going to give me a gown so I can change from my street clothes into the hospital gown. And in this very room, they're going to examine me, examine the baby, check our heart rates, blood rates, sugar, and whatever. So they're going to check all of those before we go in for the procedure. I was actually scheduled for a C-section, but they have to check all these things before the procedure begins. Rapid transformation. So I just transformed into a patient. I just got here like a few minutes ago. Got my patient sticker and I'm in the examination room waiting to be examined before everything starts. So that's the baby monitoring device. They're gonna monitor me through that device. And uh, I'm just here still changing. Accustoming myself to my new environment. I mean, I'm gonna be here for the next couple of days. So waiting. And it's in times like this that I really want to cry because I remember my mom and I know she would have been by me, you know, holding my hand and doing whatever these moms do in times like this. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't have her by my side because my mom passed and I really, really missed her on this day. God knows I cried when I thought of how she would have been right there, massaging my feet, massaging my hands, telling me it was going to be okay. It was really difficult for a moment, but then again, I had my husband by me and that in itself was encouraging. He tried his best. He did all he could do. It was still amazing, you know. At the end of the day, all this world that ends well, I guess. So the baby's getting monitored right here, the sound. So here at this point, we were like two hours away from the surgery and the nurses were coming in to do their rounds and stuff and prep me for the surgery. So they were coming right now to give me some IV fluids. Apparently you need to have all these fluids in your body before they operate you. So they came right there to give me fluids, but they couldn't find my veins. It was a little difficult and they were poking me like crazy and it was just painting and they couldn't really find the veins. But thanks to technology, you know, the ladies went upstairs and got this IQ vein machine and it helps you locate a patient's vein so the little red light you see on my hands is some kind of infrared technology I guess so that's what they use to locate the veins and thanks to this light they found the veins easily and that's how I got my IV fluids <laughs> Changing into PPE. Changing into PPE, getting ready for the OR. Me too, so we're just waiting for them to come get us. I'm really so tired. Oh. 
so the lady who put the hair cover on my head that was the last nurse to attend to me before the surgery and from here i was being taken to the or or is simply the operating room so when i got to the or they started with the anesthesia oh god it was so difficult this was a spinal anesthesia unlike the general and for spinal they use a very big needle so it hurts like crazy and there's a particular place in the spine where they need this anesthesia to go for it to be functional so the nurses were like poking here and then they don't get the right spot they have to poke again somewhere else they don't get the right spot they kept poking and poking and poking and my back was on fire you guys so it was really paining and i was just there like oh my god are we ever going to get this today and then the nurses were like oh you're really strong you're really brave thank you for your patience just imagine all the pains you're going through and they're telling you you're really brave you're really strong in my mind i was just like if i slap you eh? <laughs> You guys are really hurting me and you're telling me I'm brave. Really? Is that why I'm here? But then again, I understand they're professionals. They were trying their best and I just had to cooperate. So I was really understanding and every time they asked me to coil my back and stuff, I was just going to do what they asked me to do. You know, I wanted to get out of there as fast as I could. And most importantly, I wanted to meet my baby. And then the glorious moment came. The moment we had all been waiting for this long nine months. And the baby came out, you guys. That's the baby. That's our little boy. And he came out at 5.05. That was five minutes after 5 p.m. on April 5th. And it was so amazing. So I was just lying there pretty much inactive, pretty much numb. Numb from the waist downwards, you know. I couldn't do nothing, but I could see people walking around me. The nurses going up and down. My husband too, following the baby and stuff. But I was just there saying, the only thing that could come out of my mouth at this time was, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Since I could barely talk, I was really so exhausted. But I remember the things I was saying at the time was, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then he went to cut the umbilical cord and, you know, do whatever it is they were doing there. I was just lying here, you know, pretty much immobile. I couldn't do nothing. So that's baby. He's getting dressed. And they're going to swaddle him with some pampas swaddlers. And after that, they're going to take his weight, his height, you know, all the basic things they need, his vital signs. That's daddy also watching the baby. And uh, they're also going to take the baby's footprint. They always do this little thing. And after that, they're going to give him some vitamins. They're going to put some things in his Same mouth. Thing. That's what the nurse oh, was doing here. He looks exactly like that. Exactly. Good, you can pass off his brother's yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys, you know. It's beautiful. No problem. Yeah, thank you. Hi, bud. I'm sorry, Danny made me do it. <laughs> The very first vitamins they give the baby and then now they are preparing a shot for the baby that's his very first shot they're going to inject that on his right foot i think and uh, mommy is lying on the other side pretty much uh immobile like i said earlier <laughs> and i'm just watching everything in 3d <laughs> then there's all these little things the nurses do they put some ointment in the baby's eyes they put some things in his mouth and i guess that's what they do for every baby it's pretty much procedural and then they check the vital signs they check the neuro and gross motor skills and stuff like that where you know they touch the baby's toes to see if he moves the toes they touch his hands to see you know just checking out the five senses and stuff like that i guess that's what they're doing here and then afterwards they'll do the hearing test, the vision and you know just a couple of things they do is pretty much procedural to see if the baby is fine. You know the best way to tackle any problem is to discover it early so I guess what they're doing is really finding out that the baby is fine. If they notice anything then they're going to tackle it right away. Don't cry son. Don't cry son. Don't cry son. Don't cry son. Don't cry okay son. And there goes daddy trying to tell the baby not to cry, you know. Daddy can console for Africa, you know. <laughs> he can do that forever. He can just stay there saying, don't cry son, don't cry son for the next 20 minutes. He's so patient and that's one thing I like. It's adorable. So baby has passed all his first examinations and he has been cleaned. He has been swaddled and on the other side is mommy. 
they closing up my wounds they're stitching me up and stuff so in a couple of minutes they're going to push me over to recovery room where i'm going to carry baby for the first time where i'm going to see him i'm going to have some skin to skin oh no i did skin to skin already so that's recovery shenanigans i just got out of the or fresh out of surgery fresh out of the operating room and this is the recovery room where i got to meet the baby for the first time where i got to carry the baby for the first time you know after the initial skin to skin in the or this is the first time i really got to hold the baby in my arms and can you imagine the nerves of this little nigga i carried him he was asleep i was like are you kidding me after you've been jabbing and punching me from inside my tummy and kicking me for nine months i want to meet you for the first time you're sleeping are you for real so i shook the baby shook him shook him shouted in his ears until he woke up <laughs> i was like wake up little nigger mommy wants to meet you baby really you want to sleep on me then i shook him he woke up and i kissed him and then i got to meet the baby i said a little prayer and that was about it wait though so if you're still watching this video up to this moment and you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please Please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button below this video because you're definitely going to love it here on this channel we keep it real we talk all things entertainment we talk about african recipes and we do a little bit of lifestyle so please go ahead and subscribe and also turn your notification bell on so you don't miss my very next video which is most definitely going to be a continuation of this one so having a baby during a pandemic is a little crazy like the limitations were plentiful i'm not about to go into that right now that's a story for some other day thank you guys a lot for watching thank you guys equally for subscribing and remember to be nice to each other it costs nothing to be nice to people so say something nice to somebody today to brighten their day and that way we make the world more colorful and more happy thank you guys a lot see you guys in the next video goodbye